All right, let's get started with the tennis ball under the right foot. And I'm gonna roll it forward and back with fiber. And you're putting enough pressure so that you feel slightly uncomfortable. You're gonna roll inside, middle, and outside that foot. Then go ahead and do some cross fiber work. When you do cross fiber work, it's gonna feel a little different. So just relax, go up and down the foot several times, and then you're gonna to start to do compressions. Now, if this is too painful, then don't do it. Just go back to the rolling, and you can also add some rotation work, which is gonna open up that plantar fascia, the connective tissue underneath the feet. Then I'm gonna open up my legs super wide, and we're gonna to start to pulse. Big toe, heel, arch, big toe, heel, and arch. And then I'm gonna hold the tennis ball right on the arch of the foot. Take a nice deep breath in. Let your body weight do the work. The whole concept between myofascial release is so that you really will work that body in a way that's a little different than stretching. It penetrates the muscles and reduces inflammation. Then come on back, open your toes really wide, and give me a rigorous roll on that foot. Spread those toes. If you need to spread your fingers when you spread your toes, that's fine too. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my toes and parallel them, pressing the heels into the floor. And this is gonna create a nice calf stretch. Press your pelvis forward and that's gonna make that stretch even deeper. And then I'm gonna take that other foot. So start on the arch, roll forward and back, inside, middle, and outside the arch of the foot, and then you're gonna cross fiber it. Try and do the same amount of time on both feet. But if you have a foot that's a particularly sore today, you can always revisit it. And then once you've done cross fiber all the way up and down your foot, you're gonna do some compressions. Just push down, add rotation work in and out if you want to as well. And then we're gonna open up those legs super wide and press heel, big toe, and arch heel, big toe, and arch. And then when you're ready, hold it right on the arch. Notice my toe and heel are off the floor and that's gonna create a little bit of tension. Take a deep breath in, allow that body weight to work, and then we're gonna bring that foot back in, spread the toes, and give me a much more vigorous roll in that foot. Finish it off like the other side by making those toes nice and parallel. Press the heel to the ground, press the pelvis forward, keep the knee straight, and you'll feel that calf stretch. Nice deep breath in and exhale. We're gonna move our way to the floor. So I'm gonna start off with an easy roll down each toe. This is gonna allow you to relax your foot. Feels great, we've got a lot of bones in the feet. I want you to focus on that nice long roll. And then I'm gonna take the other side. So if it's more comfortable for you to be on the floor doing this, find the best position for you. We're not all built the same and we need to make sure that we get in the most comfortable position possible. And I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. I'm gonna actually push the ball from the heel to the big toe. And we're just gonna roll the arch of the foot. This is gonna feel fabulous. Now you can always wet your tennis ball and stick it in the freezer for a little cold work. And then I'm gonna switch my sides. It's really important to do the feet. The feet will tell you a lot about your body and how you're feeling. So make sure you do them often. I do them every single day. And then I'm gonna start with the hamstrings. So take the two tennis balls, put them at the base of the buttocks, top of the hamstring, extend your legs out, and we're gonna cross fiber right at the base of the butt. If you want to go lighter, you lean back. If you want to go more intense, you're going to lean forward. So all you're doing is cross fiber, cross fiber, then sit and relax into the stretch. And then I'm going to move that down the leg, one inch at a time, cross fiber, cross fiber, and then stretch. And if you don't want to be on your hands, you can always do this kneading technique. So you're going to progress down the legs, all the way down, and you'll notice something about those hamstrings, that they're pretty tight. And if you find a tight spot, just revisit it. So I'm going all the way to my knees, and then once you've gone to the knees, revisit any spot that you find that's difficult. I'm gonna show you a secondary technique. Take two tennis balls, the long way, place them behind the hamstring, and now you only have to move the leg. You can press down, you can bend forward. You're gonna do the middle, you're gonna do high on the leg, and then you're gonna do low on the leg. 
That's all you're gonna do. And if you wanna add a little extra attention, you can turn the leg outward or inward, depending on where you need it. And I'm just gonna switch over and do the other side. So again, halfway between the knee and the hip, press down, bend forward, and use your body weight if you'd like to go deeper. Then you're gonna go lower on the leg and higher on the leg, way up at the point where the buttocks and the hamstring come together. Take a nice deep breath in, and we're gonna work down the calves. So start out with the tennis balls right behind your knees. This is a great way to assess knee health. If they feel a little unusual, that's pretty normal, but they shouldn't hurt. Drop it down an inch, and I'm just gonna progress all the way down my calves. As you're doing this, you're gonna take a nice deep breath in, and then medius part of the calf. Just keep going, you're comparing apples to apples, all the way down to the Achilles and make sure you take notice if you've got spots that are pretty uncomfortable. I'm gonna isolate one side, so watch. I'm gonna bring my pants up. We're gonna work just the right leg, so I'm gonna roll all the way up and all the way down, turning that calf and rotating the hip in and out. And you're looking for any spot of sensitivity. So I just found one in my calf. Sit down, relax cross fiber that so it's going to help move things around and relax it take another deep breath in and then we're going to stack our leg weight now if that's too uncomfortable take it off and then finish off with a little bit of a bump now if you have two or three spots you should work two or three spots i'm going to finish with a nice little flush and then i'm going to take the other side so both sides may not feel the same. So focus on being very attentive to what your body's feeling. So notice I'm rolling that knee in, rolling that knee out, looking for any areas that are uncomfortable. If you don't wanna be on your hands, you can do this little hip moving technique. Once you've got a spot, Sit and relax, take a deep breath, cross fiber. You don't want your brain thinking fight or flight. You wanna try and decompress your head, especially now. And then stack on top and give me a little bump. That's gonna absolutely feel a little uncomfortable. So just keep breathing. And as you do this more often, it should get better. And then I'm gonna again, finish with a nice clean flush. And then let's do some massage techniques. So I'm gonna start off just using the tennis ball and rolling it on the quadricep muscle, the front thigh. When you get to the knee, roll gently, but you're checking for any sensitivity that you might have around your knees. And if you find you, you've got a little knot or, or inflammation, you can rotate it, you can do circles, you can squeeze orange juice, but be very gentle around the joint. From there, I'm gonna turn that leg out to the side for the adductor inner thigh. I'm gonna try and cover your whole body very quickly today. Once you've done that, again, softer at the knee, go ahead and dig in. You can use one hand, you can do rotation work, whatever feels best to you. Any work is better than no work. And we're gonna take the IT band. So start at the knee and we're gonna take the leg to the ball. This is gonna help relax the IT, iliotibialis, and really, Think about your hips, how much sitting you might be doing in front of that TV. This muscle is going to get a little tired. If you find a spot that's tender, I want you to double bump it or triple bump it. Then go ahead and take your second tennis ball, align them, and we're going to side saddle right up on top of them. And all I want you to do is wiggle up and wiggle down looking for any areas of sensitivity in that IT. You can sit and relax on it. Remember, it should be just slightly uncomfortable the whole time. And let's take that other side. Quadricep roll. You're looking for any areas of sensitivity so that you can give a little bit more attention in that area. You're gonna go around the knees gently, looking for any areas of sensitivity, adding a little bit of cross fiber, rotation work, anything that's gonna make it feel better. And then turn that leg out for the adductor inner thigh. Definitely wanna hit every muscle group. And if you find something that's unhappy, revisit it a couple of times a day. Doesn't take a long time to diffuse some of the issues that we get. And then I'm gonna take it along that outside of the leg. You're moving up the thigh, 
You're adding weight as you go up. Double bump any area that's uncomfortable. And then go ahead, put two of those tennis balls up and hang out there. This is for that IT. And you're just wiggle waggling. That's all you're doing. It's not very technical. Just stay off the hip bone and stay off the knee. From there, you're gonna take a nice deep breath in and we're gonna turn sideways and roll up the back. So starting with the two tennis balls on both sides of the spine, I've got a microphone there, so I'm gonna be a little careful. You're gonna roll, not on the spine itself, on the muscles on both sides of the spine. And you're gonna keep moving up the back two to three inches at a time. Notice I'm staying on my elbows. You don't wanna arch on those balls. Once you're at the shoulder blades, you may not be able to stay on the elbows. So you can lay all the way down. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now, a little bit on the diagonal so you can see me. Take those two tennis balls, place them right at the trapezius muscle, relax your head. And we're gonna do kneading technique, which is just a shift and a move side to side to relax those very stressed out muscles of the upper back. Once you find a spot that's tender, raise your arms and wiggle on it. You can open the arms, you can change position in any way that will change the work. And if you want to go deeper, you're going to raise your hips and wiggle waggle again. I would do that multiple times. So let's just do it one more time to make sure you're covering. Your head is on the ground. Mine is up because again, I have a microphone there. I'm just shifting and moving. If I find a spot, you keep moving the tennis balls every time you shift your body weight. Then you're going to relax, arms up and wiggle on it, hips up and wiggle on it. Take a nice deep breath in, grab those two tennis balls and hold them like a big OK sign. Lift your hips, place the tennis ball on the sacrum, which is the bony part between your butt cheeks below your waistline. And I'm just shifting from side to side like we just did with the upper back. Every time I move, I'm shifting that tennis ball to a new spot. This is amazing for lumbar release. So you're just gonna shift and move. You can put your feet down and do that if it's too intense with your legs up, but that's your goal is to just shift and relax the glutes. I'm gonna tuck it on in and let's work the glutes in another way. So we're gonna go ahead and sit on one tennis ball and just knead it just like we did with the hips and just like we did with the upper back. And then I'm gonna switch and do the other side. Just kneading technique. You're trying to place that ball in the meatiest part of your butt. You're gonna notice that people with lower back sensitivity are gonna have really, really tight rear end. So this is a really important part of loosening up before we go deeper. So I'm gonna open up my knees, place the two tennis balls right behind the medius part of the butt, medial glute, and we're gonna shift and move sideways. Now I'm on the diagonal on my mat. You can lay lengthwise, but I want you to see my positioning. So you're gonna go side to side, cross fiber. You're gonna bring your knees forward and you're gonna go with fiber. So I'm going both sides of the sacrum, the bigger muscles of the butt. This should feel fabulous. Then I'm gonna come on down to my elbows, do a couple of more of these kneading techniques because it'll help loosen. Place the ball high and wide on the butt. Extend your legs all the way down and try and relax. At this point, you can lay all the way to the ground. I'm going to stay upright so that I can cue these. You're going to lift one of your legs up in the air and you're going to keep that leg 90 degrees. If you're not flexible, bend your knee. If you're flexible, you can go straight. Then you're going to drop it 90 degrees and bounce on it. This is amazing for low back sensitivity and deeper glute work. So bounce it, bend the knee, place it on the floor, take a nice deep breath in and relax. Remember, you're, you should be all the way on the ground, closing your eyes, taking deep breaths, switch the leg on top of the thigh and open up the knee. This secondary position will feel a little different. Slide the bottom leg up for square four. You can lift your chest or still be on the ground. And then we're just gonna do a little tilt one way and the other. That's gonna accentuate each side of your buttocks and gonna really make a difference in this stretch. And then let's do the other side quickly. Legs straight up or 90 degrees. Remember, if you're not flexible, you want this angle in the hip. Bring it out to the side and we're just gonna bounce it. 
as you bounce it, that's our kneading technique. And it's gonna feel a little intense, especially if you've been sitting a lot lately. Bend the knee, place it on the floor next to your opposite knee. This is where you take a major breath, exhale and relax. And then we're gonna take that leg up on top, bring it out to the side, secondary position. Another deep breath in. Slide that foot on up for a square four. And then just let's do a little tilt one way, add a little weight on that hip, and then tilt to the other side. Both of those should feel a little more intense than straight forward. And then we're gonna come back in, go ahead and remove those tennis balls, and we're gonna flip over and work the opposite muscles that we did on the calf. So we're gonna work the shins. You're just gonna roll outside the shin bone. We've already done the calves, but we want a balanced body outside the shin bone. And then you can also do cross fiber at the ankle. And we're gonna do both sides, up and down the shins. Nice deep breath, and then cross fiber at the ankle. So let's move on to the most overused muscle of the lower body. Place your tennis balls about eight inches, six inches apart, depending on your body. And we're gonna just put it right at the break of the hip. This is your hip flexor, most overused muscle in the lower body. Cross fiber, but keep your body elevated. I'm on my toes, I'm on my elbows, because you don't want to lay all your weight there. Once you do some cross fiber work, then go ahead and add with fiber up and down. You can pigeon toe a little, you can turn out a little, and then finish off your hip flexor with a little bit tighter butt squeeze to open up the group. If you want to get the top of the quadriceps thighs, Scooch up a little bit, and you can actually work all the way down the front thigh muscles, but we've already worked those, so we're gonna move on. Go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. Let's bring those tennis balls front. Sit in a comfortable position, and we're just gonna finish up with a little upper body work. So I want you to start across your chest. So you start in the sternum and work your way out. Again, I have a microphone up there, so I'm gonna be a little careful. You can go down the front shoulder. You can do go down to the biceps. You can do the forearm, whatever you need to feel comfortable, and then I'm gonna grab my elbow and go up and over for the trapezius. This is one that I really, really need all the time. It gets super tight. You can squeeze orange juice by rotating. You can pull forward to relax it, and then let's take the other side. So again, you're right around the collarbone, out to the chest, out all the way across the chest. Men can go all the way down. Ladies, stay under the collarbone. Go right in front of that shoulder, the break between the shoulder and the chest muscle. In front of that shoulder, you can go all the way to the biceps and the forearm. Feel free to work that arm anywhere you want to. Any of those techniques work. And then up and over for the trapezius. Dig in, do the rotations, or pull it across. Then we're gonna secure the head and roll up the side of the neck. Oh, this feels so good. Right up into the skull. And you're gonna do both sides. I'm supporting my head because I'm pushing kind of hard and you don't wanna strain the neck in any way. You can roll anywhere on the side of the neck and the back of the neck, but avoid the front of the neck. And then I'm just gonna finish off by supporting the head and doing the back of my neck and the base of my skull. You're gonna roll across the bones at the base of your skull. Come on up. Roll your temple. Remember, you should have no pain at all in those muscles. If you're grinding or clenching at night, these muscles are gonna be really tight. And then down the side of the jaw, and let's take the other side. At the temple, down along the jawline. And to finish off today, just a little eyebrow roll. Sinusitis, if any of you are suffering from sinusitis or headaches, all of the head techniques work. You can roll the tennis ball anywhere you want. Let's put that tennis ball down, take a deep breath in, bring the arms behind you, open up the chest. We're gonna lean out and reach for a nice long stretch. Bring the hands together to release the back. Take the other side. I hope you enjoyed this myofascia release program today. Remember to stay safe, stay well. Do this often for your body. It's so much better than just not doing anything at all. Even a minute a day. Take care.